I've created my own little sampled drum kit using only this acoustic guitar. And in this video, I'm gonna explain the thought process behind all this. But first, let's have a listen to what it sounds like. All right, so this is the basic Quest for Groove pad layout. And if you're not familiar with this, I'll link to another video in a card and in the description below. So you can check that out first before moving on with this one. This is the basic pad layout that we all know. And the first step that I took to translate all of this into my sampled guitar drum kit was I would look at all these sounds and think, what is the essence of this? So what is the essence of a kick drum? What is the essence of a snare? Essence of a hi-hat, etc. And what I came up with is this chart. So this is basically the same layout, but instead of kick drum, it says something like low pitched, boomy, heavy sound. Snare is more of a slappy, snappy sound, etc. And then I took out the guitar, looked at the guitar, looked at the map and was like, okay, so a low pitched, boomy sound. How do I get that? or a snappy slappy snare sound. How do I get that? A light hi-hat thingy. An open hi-hat. A ride bell. Or toms, like shorter, lower pitched, but melodic sounds. Or cymbals. <laughs> yeah, so I mess around with that a little bit. Uh, I pitched the kick drum one octave down, by the way. And uh, after setting all those sounds up, I ended up with this kit. Okay, and just for reference, I took the MIDI notes of the performance that you heard earlier, and I loaded those MIDI notes into a normal drum kit. And that way we can compare them side by side. For example, check out the intro of the guitar. And now the intro played on a normal drum kit. First part of the guitar. And switching back to the drum kit. Back to the guitar. And back to the drum kit. Obviously the two kits sound very different, but the general message that they're conveying, the essence of what they're playing, is quite the same. I mean, the guitar sounds a bit more melodic, there's more real tones there, but still, the story is similar. And I think uh, if you wanna start drumming with unconventional drum sounds or you wanna come up with your own kits, this is a very nice way to get started but by just thinking how can I maintain the essence of every part of the drum kit but use unconventional sounds to achieve those essences. So yeah you can find a guitar in your own home and try and sample that but you can also just scour the internet you know look for little sound bites clips from nature or whatever maybe you can drum on your body you know this is a typical kick drum or snare, hi-hat, you know, you can do stuff like that. And you can use the same approach that I used here to come up with other drum kits by yourself. All right, I'm sending you off with a final drum performance. It's the same drum performance that we started out with, but now I've layered the conventional drum sounds over the guitar drum sounds with a very nice end result. <laughs> 